talk to me about Hector Luis Garcia and Brenda Pollo. Both are have a, a championship fight August 20th. You trained both of them. I was there in Las Vegas when we met. Uh, I saw you training them. And uh, talk to me about, about the talent level each of those guys have, as well as what do you think is going to happen in their fight and, and their opponents? Um, you know, with it, first and foremost with, with Pueyo, um, I know his opponent very well. I've seen him uh, up and close and personal with Mario Barrios, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. when we're able to beat him for the WBA title. Um, he's in he's in a tremendously tough fight. Uh, the guy's an Olympian. He's not an Olympian by accident. Um, he's trained by, to me, one of the best, Joel Diaz. I have the utmost respect for him. And uh, so I, I know we're going to be in a dogfight. It, it by no means is going to be an easy fight. Uh, there's going to be times, and I've told Pueyo this, that he's going to have to look within himself, it, within his soul, deep into his soul, in order to pull out this victory. Because he's going to go to a place, this guy's going to take him to a place, unless we catch him with something he doesn't see, that he's never been to before in a pro fight. I know that. He's going to push him to, to that brink. And, uh, mm -hmm. and Pueyo has that within him. I think Pueyo's the, the, the better boxer, no doubt about it. In, in my mind, Pueyo's longer. Um, and, and Pueyo brings a lot of attributes uh, uh, to this fight that other guys haven't. And like I said, he's long. He's a lefty. He's got good feet. And he's very intelligent. Pueyo's a very, very intelligent fighter. And uh, so uh, I think we're, we're well prepared for this fight. And I think we're going to bring a couple little wrinkles into the fight uh, that I'm not going to get into now that I think the Russian's going to be in for a little bit of a surprise. Uh, I, I hope I hope you're right. H how about Hector Luis Garcia? Talk to me about his talent level as well as his opponent, Roger Gutierrez, and what do you make of the fight? Well, obviously, uh, Hector, <clears throat> again, here's a kid that fought in the Olympics, uh, represented the Dominican in the Olympics, and, and obviously you don't fight in the Pan Am Games, you don't fight in the Olympics uh, <laughs> by not being a quality, quality fighter. That said, again, Hector, too, is a lefty, and Hector's very crafty. There's a lot of little wrinkles to Hector's game that 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 uh, unless you work with him on a day-to-day -day basis that you wouldn't appreciate, you know. So um, I felt confident when we took the fight with with uh, Colbert. I looked at him. He said, "Hey, let's do this, Coach." And and if I didn't feel he was capable of winning, we would have never tried to. We would have never took that fight. So he has a lot of wrinkles and a wealth of experience, and he can do a plethora of things. Um, uh, that people are going to be in for a, a, a big shock with him, too. He's not a one-dimensional fighter. Hector can do a lot of different things. Okay. And I think he proved it in the Colbert fight. If you look in the Colbert fight, he fought a completely different style than he's fought in a lot of his other previous fights. And, and, and to me, that's a sign of a great fighter who's not one-dimensional, where you can, you know, you fight this guy and you can bring a certain style here, or you, you can have a different style here. And, 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 and that's what when you can win and sustain at that level. You know what I mean? It's not the same thing every single time. You can add some wrinkles, and he's capable of doing that. Plus, he's, again, uh, I love working with lefties. I, uh, Arizona, Lara is a lefty. Robert Guerrero is a lefty. I've worked with a lot of lefties. Joel Casamayor, so I've been in camps with a lot of lefties. Wow. I, I didn't even, when, when we were talking about the fighters you've trained, I didn't even put two and two together. You're right. That is a lot of lefties. 